So mine's also from driving. Ready? Whenever the spirit moves down. By a show of hands, how many of you have or know someone who has ever thought about driving drunk? Well, every day, around, around 28 people die from drunk driving, which is around 10,220 per year. However, what may be worse is long-lasting injury. Every 48 seconds, a drunk driver makes another person eligible to park here. A project called the McAllister Project delivered this message through spray painting handicapped parking spots throughout uh, high schools in Seattle in order to give a message to students before they went out on the weekends to rethink their plans. In order for you to understand how this artifact fulfills the definition of rhetoric, I'll describe how it shapes knowledge and assists advocacy. By definition, rhetoric is by definition, rhetoric is the art of effective persuasive speaking or writing, especially through the use of figures, of speech, and other compositional techniques. First, I'll describe how this artifact shapes knowledge to help understand the definition of rhetoric. Rhetoric shapes, shapes knowledge. Rhetoric shapes knowledge. Um, is it only got ideas? Mm -hmm. It's just a Okay. Sorry. Rhetoric shapes knowledge by helping us know um, what is true or right by giving evidence to support an argument. Given the way rhetoric, sh rhetoric shapes knowledge, Artifact does this by giving a fact about the effects of drunk driving. Every 48 seconds, a drunk person makes another, another person eligible to park here. This is delivered to teenagers before it may be too late. Second, I will talk about how this artifact assists, ad assists advocacy to help understand the definition of rhetoric. The way in which rhetoric assists advocacy is by giving a voice to our thoughts and opinions to the public so that, to the public so that it's able to hear and appeal to by supporting it with evidence and true claims. Given the way rhetoric assists advocacy, my, my artifact does this through advocating for those who have been negatively affected by drug driving. The ad targets those who have made those people injured and or disabled and eligible to park in spots like these by sending a message to those uh, to stop them from making a wrong decision. In conclusion, I have shown you that this artifact fulfills the definition of rhetoric by how it shapes knowledge and assists advocacy. So now by a show of hands, how many of you will think the next time before you drink? It's wonderful. Thank you.